In this video, we're going to look at how we add signatures to our mail in Spark. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's first look at this on my Mac. Now, in order to add a signature, what we need to do is go to our Spark Preferences. I go up to Spark in the menu bar here, and then we go over to our Preferences. Under Preferences, what we need to do is go over to Signatures. This is where we manage all of our signatures. Now what's really nice about Spark is if I add a signature here, it will also add it to my iPad and iPhone. So it does sync your signatures. So what are the different options we have? Well, the first one is, is do we want to enable it? Down below that we have our little plus and from here is where we can add our signatures. And now before we go and add one, let's go ahead and click on this one here and see what options we do have with an individual signature. I click on it, and then from here what I'm able to do is format it. I can select any text, make it bold, italic, underline, strike through. I can change the font, the color, and I can see the HTML. When you make something bold, what it's doing is making it bold through HTML. So when I double click on this and then I go over to bold, underneath it what it's doing is it's adding HTML to it. You want to see that HTML? If you know HTML you can go and customize this. I go over to HTML here and now we can see that it made it bold. Now if you want to add an image to it what you can do is copy and paste an image. So what I'm able to do here is copy this. I'm going to copy this image here. And then when we go back over to my signature here, if I click in here and paste, we can see we have my image in there. So you are able to put images in there by copy and paste. So that's how we format it. Below that, we can have it always match the default font. I like to leave this on so that makes the signature look like the rest of your email. Let's say you change the font in your email. What's going to happen when this is turned on is a signature will also match that font in your email. And then we can set it who it is default for. So let's say you have a different signature for your different accounts. Well, what you're able to do is select which one it is default for. You can select multiple signatures. So now when I create a new draft message, you're going to see when I click in here, what I'm able to do is select from my different signatures. Now I only have one signature in here. We'll go and add another one on the iPad, but I am able to go and add a new signature here and then I can select from it. Let's go and take a look at this on the iPad. To manage your signatures, we need to go to the Spark settings. To do that, we go to the three lines in the upper left hand corner. And then from here we go down to Settings. Under Settings we have Signatures. And we can see we have my one signature here. To use them we just make sure that the slider is on. If we want to edit one we just click on the signature and then from here what I'm able to do is select who it is default for. We can see it is syncing. This is how I set it up on the Mac. And then we can also go in here and change the signature. We do have our formatting bar across the bottom here. And again, I can also paste an image in here. To add a new signature, what I do is I click on Add Signature, and then I set who it is default for. It does not have to be default for anyone. If you do not set it for default of anyone, it will not be added automatically. You'll have to add it manually. So let's go ahead and set this for Dan Wasink. I'm going to say this is my test signature here. Oops, if I could spell it right. And I can format it down on the bottom there. If I want to view the HTML, I have HTML here. And then I just go click on the back arrow and I've added that signature. So now let's see what this looks like. I'm going to click on the X. We're going to create a new email. We have my test signature. I want to change it to a different signature. I click on the three dots and from here I'm able to change it to a different signature. If I don't want to use a signature at all, I can just click on the X and that signature is no longer there. 
Let's see what this looks like on the iPhone. So I'm in Spark here. And let's go and create a new draft. It does sync. So when I click on the little pencil in the lower right hand corner, you're going to see I have my test signature, which I just created. I tap on it. I can go and change the signature. I can go and remove the signature. I can also go and add a signature. If I want to edit it, I can tap on edit in the upper right hand corner. We can also access this through our settings. So I tap on the three lines at the top. We go to settings at the very bottom. And then you're going to see signatures. And there are my signatures. Let's go ahead and remove my text signature. All I do is just swipe to the left. And now, when I go back over to my iPad, you're going to see, let's go ahead and delete this. You're going to see when I go to my signatures here, I only have the one signature. And when I go over to my Mac, again, I'm only going to have the one signature. So that is how we manage our signatures in Spark. On the Mac, we need to go to our Spark's preferences. On the iPad and iPhone, we go to Spark's settings. We can format the text in a signature. We can copy and paste images in there. And then we can assign it to an account. When you create a new draft, you can change a signature, and then you can also remove it. So that's how we work with signatures in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone.